Hi, today I'm talking about Russian-American actor Anton Yelchin, who died in 2016 at the age of 27. Anton Yelchin was a Russian-American actor. He was born Anton Viktorovich Yelchin on the 11th of March 1989 in Leningrad in the Soviet Union, which is now St. Petersburg, Russia, to Viktor Yelchin and Irina Korina, who were professional figure skaters, who starred in the Leningrad Ice Ballet for 15 years. Anton's parents qualified for the 1972 Winter Olympics, but were not permitted to enter the competition by the Soviet authorities. He was an only child. His family were Jewish and there was anti-Semitism in the Soviet Union, so when Anton was six months old, they decided to immigrate to the United States. They moved to Tarzana, California. His father, Victor, coached ice skaters in California. Victor was the first trainer of American figure skater, Sasha Cohen. His mother, Irina, was a choreographer for ice skating routines. He was very creative as a child and so his parents enrolled him into acting classes. This led to him getting a TV commercial for Chuck E. Cheese. For people who aren't American, it is a place to hold your child's birthday party which serves up pizza and has arcade games. His film and television career started in 2000. He appeared in the TV series called Half. His most famous TV role as a child actor was in Steven Spielberg's miniseries, Taken. His film debut was in the movie A Man is Mostly Water. He had the lead role in the film Hearts in Atlantis in 2001, which also starred Anthony Hopkins. This film made him famous at the age of 11. He won the Young Artist Award for best performance in a feature film as leading young actor for this role. He was in the coming of age movie House of D with Robin Williams and the director was David Tocophone. He acted with Christian Stewart in Fierce People in 2005. Christian acted as his love interest in the film and they actually dated off screen. She has said he was the first person to break her heart. He starred in Alpha Dog with Justin Timberlake. He had the leading role in Charlie Bartlett, where he played a wealthy high school student in a public high school. In Great Britain, we would call it a state secondary school, um, with Robert Downey Jr. Here is Robert. He is best known for his role as Pavel Chekhov in the Star Trek reboot series. The 2009 Star Trek movie, Star Trek Into Darkness in 2013 and Star Trek Beyond in 2016. Anton spoke with a Russian accent to play this character. British actor Simon Pegg, pictured, was also in those movies. He had the lead role in the comedic horror movie Fright Night with Colin Farrell. He plays a teenager who finds out his neighbour is a killer vampire. He acted with Felicity Jones and Jennifer Lawrence in Like Crazy, where he played the role of a college student in a long distance relationship. He starred in Odd Thomas in the title role, playing a psychic. He starred in Burying the Ex in 2014, playing the role of Max, who works in a horror memorabilia shop. He splits up with his girlfriend and while visiting the Hollywood Forever Cemetery, he discovers that his ex-girlfriend has risen from the dead and dug herself out of her grave. The scene he filmed at the cemetery, little did he know, was very near to the plot where he would be buried a short time later. He played a member of a heavy metal band in the thriller Green Room in 2015. The movies Porto, Rememory and Thoroughbreds were all released posthumously. Thoroughbreds was his last film. He was planning on making his own film, which he would be the director. The movie was going to be called Travis. He apparently never missed a day of work. 
He completed 69 films and TV projects by the age of 27. He was a very well respected actor. As well as acting, he liked music and had his own rock band called the Hammerheads. His instrument of choice was the guitar. He also liked photography. Anton was born with cystic fibrosis. In 2017, a foundation was set up in his name called the Anton Yelchin Foundation. The foundation was set up to support young people in the creative arts who suffer from a disability or disease. He had one serious girlfriend called Sophie Simpson, but they broke up because they were too young. Anton was due to attend a rehearsal on the 18th of June 2016. His friends went to his house and found him at about 1.10 a.m. the next day on the 19th of June. He was trapped between his Jeep Grand Cherokee and a brick pillar gatepost on his property outside his house at 3866 Berry Drive, Studio City in Los Angeles. The Jeep had rolled in reverse down his steep driveway. In April of that year, Fiat Chrysler Automotive had recalled models because there was a fault. It was to do with the gearbox. Drivers could think the car was in the park position, but if the handbrake, or Americans know it as the parking brake, wasn't applied and the car's engine was still running, the car could roll. Someone made a demonstration in one of the Jeeps with the fault for ABC News and when he put it into the park position, the gear shift went back into its original position. So the drivers weren't sure if the Jeep was in the park position or still in gear. There had been other injuries. The company had issued letters in May telling owners about the fault and that they needed to put the parking brake or handbrake on before leaving the vehicle. No one knows if Anton ever saw this letter. It wasn't found in his belongings after his death. In the June notice that was sent to him after his death, it said that the Chrysler dealers were going to update the gear shifter software to add an auto park feature. Anton died due to blunt traumatic asphyxia. His parents filed a wrongful death lawsuit against Fiat Chrysler and in March 2018 there was a settlement out of court. In 2019 a documentary was made about Anton's life which was called Love and Tosha. This is how he would sign his notes to his parents. In Russian, Antosha means invaluable or priceless. Anton was originally buried in Mount Sinai Cemetery, which is a Jewish cemetery, but his parents wanted to place a monument on his grave, which the cemetery doesn't allow. So he was moved to the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. He was buried in Section 8, which is the Garden of Legends, Lot 8485, Grave 5. A bronze life-size statue of Anton was placed on his grave in October 2017. Jennifer Lawrence, Demi Moore and Simon Pegg were at the unveiling. The statue overlooks the pond at the cemetery where ducks, geese and swans swim. On the monument it has Anton's birthday, then a dash, then it reads forever. There is no death date. Irina and Victor moved into Anton's house and visit Anton's grave every single day. That was awful, wasn't it? What a terrible death. And I feel really sorry for his poor parents. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, press the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.